Hi, I'm Dr. Doug Lambert, and I'm with you today to show you how to restore a posterior composite with Tokiyama America's SD Light Sigma Quick composite material, as well as their Bond Force self etch bonding agent and their SD Light flowable composite. We've isolated our class 2 lesion on the VO on number 14 with the V3 ring. We're now going to be using the Bond Force self etch dentin adhesive on both the dentin and the enamel of the preparation according to manufacturer's specifications. Now we'll light cure for 10 seconds. And now we'll set to add our flowable composite. We're going to be placing just a very small increment of the flowable composite in the box. This increment will not be cured because it's going to be acting as a seal for our restoration. We're then going to be using an increment of the SD Light Sigma Quick composite and inject that up to the height of the pulpal floor. Manipulate the composite with your instrument of choice to make sure you've got proper condensation in the proximal box. Once you're assured of that, you're going to be using a composite contact forming instrument to be sure of placing the contact exactly where you'd like to place that contact proximally, pushing against the adjacent tooth, and then light curing for 10 seconds. Remove the instrument and you'll see a hollow in the base of the composite. You're now going to backfill that with a little more of the SD Light Flow Quick flowable composite and carry that little bit across the pulpal floor as well. Finish with a second increment of the SD Light Sigma Quick body composite. We've chosen bleach white. Condense and manipulate the composite to seal the occlusal margins. Then we'll cure that for an additional 10 seconds. Once the material is cured properly, we'll remove the V3 ring, wedge, notice how firmly we have to work to get the matrix out. One of the key things to a successful posterior composite, as we know, is proper interproximal contact. 